Hey everybody, so <clears throat> what I wanted to do is just kind of give a quick demo on on the uh, the various um, layout tactics that you could um, use to get things set up on uh, however screen you have it. Um, right now this is a single screen, single monitor setup and um, with an eight rider station. And so what you'll see is I have the timer in the middle here. We have our eight trainers and then over here we have the command center. Now, one thing that's new um, that I've recently done is made it the default for this, for the command center to minimize when a workout is running. So this really isn't, you know, while a workout is running, there's really no need for people to see it. Uh, I mean, if it's not in use, you don't have uh, a need to, to access it. Um, when, if you mouse over any one of the timers, and let's say you have more than one, you know, you can add another timer over here. Um, you have access to the to the play and resume button, stop, and the lap button. Um, so there's no need for the command center while the workout is running, unless you need to get back into it. And so if it is minimized, you just come down here and you just go back up to it. So um, if you if you got a hold of the beta earlier, you'll if you go into settings, you'll probably see that the minimize on run is not enabled. So if that's something you want to do, then just enable it and you're you're good to go. Um, there's some other quick shot settings here that you may want to look at. Um, but otherwise, you can go into all settings and, and adjust things the way you want. Okay, so that's for the command center side of things. Now, with a, a, an individual rider display, you can see that, um, like right now, I've got it set up to move them individually. Um, and I'll show you how you can move them all at once. Um, but, you know, you can see that you can, you can make this display as big as you want. Now, obviously, with an eight rider situation, you can't really get them all that big unless you've got multiple screens. And that's always an option too. You could have four screens set up, you know, and two of them, two displays take up one screen just so they have, a, you know, um, a bigger display to show. Um, but you should be able to kind of get things to where you want. And then, so what you want to do is get a display exactly the size that you want. And if you if your plan is to keep all the all the dashboards the same size, then up in the layout button here, there's the dashboard layout button. You can also get to it by right clicking and hitting the layout and sizing options. And then so this brings up this menu of things that you can do. And you can just say resize all dashboards to this. And you can see now all of them are the same size. And then if you really want to kind of keep that same look going on, you can always go back in here and then just group things around the timer. And you can see how things just kind of go around the timer again. Not ideal, but um, you can then move things the way you want, uh, you know, if you need to bring it over or whatever. Obviously, this is a pretty big setup. Once you get a, a workout profile up down here and and let's say you're also riding a course, then things start to get pretty jammed up. So, you know, you'll just have to kind of experiment with how you want your your dashboards to look and the size and everything. So if you here, if you come up here, so and if you if you do the sides rather than the the corner, you know, pulling the grabber here, you can see that if once you get it past a certain width, it stops expanding. So you can kind of take it right to where you want it, where it starts to move in size a little bit, and then the same thing with the bottom. You can kind of adjust that how you want and get it just right where you want it. And maybe in time, I'll have some something set up so that you can make it a little easier um, and as a little kind of hidden feature you can actually hold the control key down and, and use your, your mouse wheel and you can kind of expand it that way too um, that's a sort of an experiment really but um, it's something you can you can mess around with but once again you got it to the size you want you go into layout button resize all to this you're good to go and now I'm just gonna go ahead and wrap around the timer again and call that good and then we're gonna go ahead and close this timer out as well so that's kind of there. Now what we can do too is go back in here and you can see in the layout you can move all the dashboards together or you can hit control M. That's a really quick way to do it. And that'll get everything kind of moving around how we, you know all these guys and then you can change you know or move the, the time around how you want there as well. Um, so that works out pretty well with that. Now if you go into the back to the command center into the layout section you can see you've got that that's where you've got access to your movie mode. Um, from the previous, you know, if you remember movie mode from the other one. And just hitting that will show you how it gets in there. Now movie mode, if um, it has its, it keeps its own layout. So in movie mode, if you've got, you know, maybe you want to have this one 
over here, but you want to keep it this size and you want to move this one here. Let's get the let's turn the, the move off for all of them. And then we can do this one over here. And maybe we want to keep him this size. Maybe we want to just keep everything else. But my point is, is that you can have individual um, individual layouts for both normal and movie mode and different sizes for all of them. So now that we have that, let's go back into normal mode and you see how everything's kind of there. Go back into this movie, into movie mode here, back to normal mode. You can see how everything just kind of changes around. Now within the layout thing, you also have your layout manager. I really tried to simplify this a little bit because it can be a little, it was a little, a little confusing with the old one, but um, you know, if you start thinking about what you're trying to prove or, I mean, not prove, but what you're trying to do, um, you're trying to, you know, retain your current layout while also trying to save it off as another one and then maybe pop into a, a you know, experiment with the other layout, blah, 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 blah. Um, so I, I really tried to just kind of keep this pretty normal. Here's your current layout. Clicking on this doesn't change anything. You actually have to click the buttons to make it go there. So this is like some kind of four by four. Um, that's the movie mode for it. Back to the current layout. Here's a here's some new lay, new layout, that kind of thing. So if you go back to the normal, but you can just get it to the one you want or move these things around the way you want and then hit your save as and then you're good to go. So that's the thing. And then also you can... Ex you can export your layouts and import them like you could before. So if you're at multiple locations or you want to, you know, replicate it on uh, another computer, maybe you've got two stations at that studio or at your house, whatever, you can just replicate the layouts by exporting and then importing. So there's that. Uh, so that's a that's just a quick quick thing. If you go back in the layout, there there are some other options here. Um, the swap position width is an interesting one. So if if I have a, uh, a setup where I want, maybe I'm only using one thing. Like in my in my lab setup, I have three uh, three trainers, a treadmill, and a rower. And so I've got these. Um, I got the ones that I don't use, kind of small over here, and then I've got this really large prime one over here that I'm that I uh, mainly use while I'm riding. And so if I switch the the trainer type, what I can do is say, well, I want to. I want to go in here and I want to I want to swap with with number one and what happens is that the two, the two positions change locations and size but it also retains the the rider here for this one that I'm swapping with and that way now I've got the big one on this side and the other one got kind of put away so that's what that's for um, back within layouts here you can say yeah, I can I can group them all together if I want um, it's telling me that they all have to be the same size. So that's a case where, okay, yeah, they are all the same size. I used the big one when I did that. So that's why everything got really big. <laughs> so there's there's just things that, um, that you can do. And I'm going to hopefully try to just continue to make this a little bit better so that you can get the layouts exactly the way you want. Okay, so that's uh, everything for now. Um, if you have any questions, as always, just let me know. Thanks.